There are things in this world that can we never fully understand. And if we try to, it just makes it into a Pandora's box. This is my story. So, let us begin into this new, unusual journey. The knowledge we gain, what it is that we seek. In IC3A1, there's a location, a special location. You may call it similar to a place of SPC Foundation, but no. This place is very unique. I got a chance to go there. It is right in that corner. In the center, on the third floor, is a very restricted room called the All-Seeing Eye, or the Eye of Enlightenment. I didn't know what it really was until I actually got a chance to experience it. Now I believe it. But it will be hard to explain it. So, with that being said, let us begin this Light is the path to enlightenment. So there is this room in IC3A18, a location that I went to. I was actually invited in by, a, let's just say, something unknown, of an unknown origin. So then I went in to see what it was. And there was a room full of monitors. They all had web cameras. They all had special devices that were attached to those cameras. And it was just a special room that you could just sit there. You couldn't really stare at the monitors too much, but it was just a special room. And it spoke to me. Mortal. It's what it said. Like it was alive. The room filled up with energy. You can almost feel cold in there even though the AC wasn't on. It was as if something was alive in here. Do you wish to know? It asked about certain things. Now keep in mind, the security asked that I do not, an do I do not swear not to, in short, ask about anything about wealth or anything about power or authority or anything in that nature. Only because I'm stricken to with these in the rules, but they didn't explain why until later on. So, a creature is now talking to me through this device. Interesting, but as to where the signal's coming from is an unknown origin. It could be from another dimension. Other than that, let us begin. So, it asked me a bunch of questions like, do you want to know about wealth or do you want to know about power? Right off the bat, I said no. And it asked me, do you want to know about your death? That intrigued me. And so I said, okay. Yeah, sure. Tell me about my death. He said, a girl that you like will kill you one day. In fact, it's been planned. It was kind of shocking the way I heard it. But he was in great detail as to how it was going to take place. So the next day, I was actually in my high school and um, went to check to see if this was going to take place. And so I talked to the other girl and I noticed that this device told me that there would be a knife in her purse. And also, she would have a love letter that I wrote with her and she would copy it, every letter, into a suicide note. And sure enough, when she went to the restroom, I went to her purse and I saw all these three items. The knife, the love letter, and also the suicide, forged suicide note. This in shock me. She asked if I wanted to spend a night with her, and I said no. And the day before, I broke up with her. As to you know why. I talked to this device again the next day after. Would you like to know? when you'll die next it said I said yes 
So I knew that this wasn't the only time, so there were going to be another time. And so I found out through this device that I was going to be in a very bad car accident a few years from now. I wrote the date and time and everything. So at least within a year from now, I would say. So when the time came, I didn't go anywhere for the whole day. But in the afternoon, I actually watched the news and I found out that an 18-wheeler actually turned over and actually destroyed a few cars. Had I been in that intersection, which I knew I was going to be because of a birthday party, I would have been in that same situation. But because I knew in advance and I avoided it, I was alive. And so it also talked to me a little bit about the future. It told me that everyone would wear masks, but they wouldn't want to wear these masks, but they had to wear them anyway. And that there would be a great plague. And I couldn't believe it when I heard it, but this was a few years from now. Now that I see what has transpired in the world, it all makes sense. There were also a few predictions that I'd rather not post on here as to not to shock anybody but I'd rather keep those to myself. So I asked this entity, what are you? And it spoke to me. It was a 10,000 year old creature that for some reason is stuck in this area. I asked, is there a way for me to release you or to get into our world? He said, that's easy. All you have to do is invite me into your world. And that's it. As for the part, the security guard came straight to me and said, No, do not invite it into our world. It's like asking the devil to come to us. Just saying it would bring him here. And who knows what it can do. We have no idea what his intentions. I mean, it can predict the future. What else can it do? So that alone, the security guard told me, whispered it in my ear which made a lot of sense. So I didn't go any further into that. It did spell out a few predictions for the future, some positive and some negative. Even still, this device, whatever it is, it's able to do so much more. It is able to create somebody that isn't wealthy to wealthy or someone that needs to avoid disaster or someone to prevent something from it occurring. This was the all-seeing eye that I've heard about so much, and yet I am very scared of it because I know what its capabilities are. In the end, I still have no idea what it can really do. It boggled me. A 10,000-year-old creature, and I'm talking to it from this device from a place that's far beyond an unknown realm into our own reality. And all I have to do is just invite it and it'll come here. Scary to think that. But in the end, I really didn't know what this device was really used for. Many organizations, not just me, were also here. And as to what they used it for can remain unknown. But if you have an advantage, the all-seeing eye will know. Keep in mind, if I were to say something that would criticize me, keep in mind, let's say, for instance, I asked about the lottery tickets. These people would arrest me right off the bat, and I would not be anywhere. I would have to be in a cell until the days passed to where it predicted it. So I was very careful not to say anything that can discriminate me or anything other. But it predicting my death, that's crazy. But yet, it did help me in the end. Because these little small fractions help to build into my own belief system of what it is. So, what are you? And yet, what can you really do? It's an unknown conundrum in the world. When the IC-3A building was destroyed, 
this facility was also destroyed as well. It was a shame. So what you're seeing now is just a remnant of what it once was. But this place is now destroyed. And so I can never fully investigate as to what it could do or its capabilities. But it is said that the chips that were on these servers went missing. <clears throat> so does that all it takes for it to become alive? Can it be moved? Can it not stay in one place? Can you transport it? I don't know. But it's interesting how some things went missing. Certain things, you know. But all it is is just monitors on the floor and a speaker box. And yet, it's active. It's alive. It knows. It doesn't want to keep. But in my mind, it is alive an ever-growingness of knowing the future from the eye of the beholder. Almost godlike in some way to see something like that. I was glad to get permission to actually see it up close and to actually it predict some of the things that came true. Just only the critical ones. And of course, as long as it was approved by the administrator, because he sat right next to me when I asked all these questions. So I didn't say anything that discriminated me in some way. And yes, it was tempting to ask it about wealth, but no. I did not want to push that button. I do value my life, you know. So I only ask it what I needed to know. And I can see how this is very valuable to somebody. But it's a shame that it was destroyed. This could have been very useful in medicine and also various other things in the world. But yet, it had to be destroyed. We will never know what our existence is capable of. And yet, the creature that thought to be extinct lived here. It was still burning to my brain as to what it can really do. The life span of 10,000 years from another dimension, and yet we're able to communicate with it through certain means and certain conditions. Even the building itself looked very odd shaped, but maybe that was to harness its energy from the environment. So many questions and so little answers. Hmm. It almost makes you wonder what the predictions it actually said were. Actually, those will be in the archives because I'd rather not say it. But if something does show, then at least I'll remember the things that it did say. But regardless, we all have to keep our humanity. We all have to continue to live on, continue to move forward, and to continue to take one step. The thought of mankind going one step back shouldn't be in your heads, but it should be as to what this well, i rather not say. Just remember, always, think of yourselves and think of your loved ones. But remember, whenever you ask something that is unknown, a creature, to ask it for the future, it's like taboo. And yet, in your mind, you seek it. You want more. You want to know more. Okay, guys. Thanks again for watching. I appreciate it. You'll never know what you truly said.